Hey, what is up, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. Thanks for tuning in to watch this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome uh, welcome back to you. If it's your first time here, I want to welcome you as well and offer the subscription button for you and also the notification bell so you never miss an upload from the SMT. Regardless of that, thanks for being here today. And I would also like to give a formal welcome to Michael P., Welcome to the SMT Patreon page, newest member, we're glad to have you, thank you for your support, big shout out to you, and uh, today we got some AT&T news for you, great news, big step in the right direction for 5G, I'll get to all those details in this video, but first, uh, just a reminder, in the description box we have several links for the SMT community items, we have the Patreon page, uh, we've got several different tiers if you'd like to contribute and donate and support productions there as well as on the YouTube channel. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. We also do Periscope Lives. So if you would like to get more involved with the community on that level, you can check that out. And then we have the invite code for Megadon.net, the social media platform of the future. Never need another social media platform ever again. No algorithms, no ads, and no tracking. Megadon.net. So here's the news from AT&T, and like I said, this is great news. The evolution of 5G is happening ultra fast. It's amazing, and I'm, and I'm really happy with this. So AT&T officially turned on DSS, also known as Dynamic Spectrum Sharing. They are the first carrier to do so on any form of a real network level. Quite impressive. Last week, we actually covered the story in which AT&T said that they would have the technology ready in half two of 2020. I'm assuming what they mean now is that they would have that on a large scale deployment, mostly or, you know, large levels nationwide. Uh, in the case of this situation, though, it looks like they are way ahead of schedule. They have been a trailblazer in DSS investment and technology testing, dating all the way back about four or five years. So it makes sense that they are really moving forward with this technology. Uh, AT&T ends up beating out Verizon, although they will have uh, the technology, in, in the case of Verizon, in the near term, very uh, soon future. So I would assume that Ericsson is the company that AT&T is working with, and we're pretty sure that it's also Verizon. I'm, I'm trying to remember. I think it is Verizon uh, with Ericsson. Uh, also, Nokia is getting involved. We know that uh, there are relationships pre-existing with T-Mobile and Nokia, T-Mobile and Ericsson and things like that. But this is a software uh, trick or, or feature that is going on here. It's not really, uh, you know, something that has to happen per se on people's phones other than them actually having the ability. So I'll get to some of those phones now. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G, the Samsung Galaxy S20 line. I believe the S10, S10 Plus 5G might do it. Don't quote me. They may not be able to take advantage of this. But I think also the LG V60. These are phones that have access to this capability where they can actually use DSS in the LTE form and then the same spectrum bands also on 5G. It's a pretty cool technology. Anyways, the testing bed, I'm assuming it's a testing bed, right? Initial deployment is North Texas. Areas are live for DSS. This is essentially AT&T's home base. This is where they are. So um, DSS is going to reduce or delay the need to refarm older legacy technologies, including 4G LTE spectrum for 5G usage, and it will dynamically switch on demand between LT and 5G as demands on the network for these companies change. So if users need spectrum for LT or 5G, it responds accordingly. Uh, this is going to save companies like AT&T and Verizon huge money uh, in terms of not needing traditional refarming. So band N2, N66, N30, N5, maybe also N12, I'm not sure. I think eventually, probably N14 eventually. Uh, that's probably where we're going to be seeing DSS for AT&T in the near term. Uh, this will be big once C-band auctions and deployments get going this year and moving forward into next year. Um, the SMT takeaway, honestly, here, AT&T mobility is legitimate. We knew that they were going to be a big player in DSS. They did this fast. They did it efficiently. And I think it was very abrupt. Uh, this kind of shows that they could come out with a move really quickly without really having to say much, which, again, is kind of how they do things, right? They don't really always give us details and news whenever something is brewing. Uh, they do sometimes have press release statements, and that's kind of what we saw here. But um, 
you know they do have a great uh, brand when it comes to wireless and uh, this new technology holds a lot of value for what it could save them in terms of not having to refarm things immediately so Verizon is next they'll be doing DSS for N2 N5 and N66 they'll probably be doing at a larger scale as they um, get involved with CBRS here in the near future in the summer and then um, probably you know last to the dss technology will be t-mobile because it's also no coincidence they need it the least they have a lot of spectrum out of the t-mobile and sprint merger it's not really something that's on their to-do list right here right now lucky them they don't have that same spectrum constraint that verizon and i, I guess to a lesser extent at&t has so let me know what you guys think of this news. Let me know if you think it's a big deal. Let me know if you don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, let me know if you are impressed by how fast they did this and beating out their timeline. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, drop me a line in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, let the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, be heard. Thank you guys for doing that. And um, that's pretty much it. If you are a real one and you watch this, let's go ahead and, uh, or you watch this all the way through, let's go ahead and hashtag DSS for dynamic spectrum sharing hashtag DSS and don't forget if you are new and you haven't done so already subscribe and bell notify yourself also uh, if you could do me a solid share this to your favorite social media platforms Twitter Instagram Facebook however you do that thank you in advance for that and we are fast approaching 10,000 subs uh, that'll be a great day when this happens should be very soon so um, be a part of that SMT nation milestone become a part of the SMT nation Oh, uh, that's pretty much it. Want to watch some other stuff? Here's some other videos to check out. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'm the SMT, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.